In this video, you will learn different techniques to fill missing values in a data frame. Let us import one data set first. I'll write import pandas as pd. I'm going to make one variable df and then I will call pd.read underscore csv and inside this I will pass the csv file name which is missing one dot csv. Now if I do df dot head these are the top five rows of a data frame we have these three columns age salary and country and here you will see we have some of the missing values which is represented by nan in age column we have this nan value here then in salary then in salary here we don't see and in country we have this nan value here and here there are many nan values if i print the entire data frame so you will see here in salary also we have nan value presence here here and there so we have many nan values one of the thing that you can do is you can just drop the nan values and if you drop that the only thing is that your data frame size will reduce now if i call that function df dot drop na here in the output you will see now we are left with only this one two three four five six we are left with only uh, six records but earlier we had around 19 records that is one of the disadvantage of dropping the missing values from a data frame first we will see fill na i will write here i'll make one new data frame df1 is equal to df dot fill na and let's say instead of this nan values i want to uh, put zero everywhere and if i do df1 now here in the output you will see in place of nan values we are having zero everywhere here we have zero here also zero zero and zero and here also you will see zero instead of zero you can put any number here let's say five now instead of zero you will see five everywhere wherever there are nan values but this is not making sense because even in the categorical variable we see that we are getting a number value which is 5 which is not correct and therefore we should look at some other alternative because this 5 is not making sense here we should have some category either India, USA or Canada that is why we will look at some other uh, option and inside this fill NA there are various parameters using which we can actually impute the missing values for example in this column country in row number 2 here and if i print the original data frame here in this row number 2 we have this nan value and the previous value is india now let's say we want to replace all these nan values with their previous value here instead of nan we will have india here instead of nan we will have canada and then here instead of nan we will have india here instead of nan we will have 9183 that uh, so we, we want to do this that is we want to use the previous value to fill the nan value now let's do that i'll make one more data frame df2 and then i will call df dot fill na and inside this i will use one method or one parameter the parameter name is method and then we have to define which method we want to use and to fill the missing values with the previous value we have to use the method pad now let us execute our code here in the output you will see all the missing values have been imputed now in this row number two we have india and then if we look at this original one here in this row number four we should have canada let's check that here in this row number four we are having canada then let's see here row number two we should have 58.0 and let's see row number two we have 58.0 this is how you can impute the previous value as the missing values using this parameter method is equal to pad now there are other ways also now let's fill the missing value with the next value if i print this tf and here you will see after this nan value we have usa now instead of this nan value i want to fill all these nan values with the next value here we will have instead of nan we will have usa here instead of nan we will have india here instead of nan we will have 6650 and so on 
and for that we have another parameter which we can use inside the fill na i will call i'll make one more data frame df3 then i will call df dot fill na and then method is equal to this time the method is going to be b fill now if i print df3 here in the output you will see now uh, let's compare here in this row number one instead of nan we should have usa let's compare that uh, and here you will see instead of nan we have usa and let let us also check one more here in row number four instead of nan we should have india let's see row number four here we have india then let's look at one of the numeric variable here in this row number five we should have 6 is 5 0 instead of nan let's check at 5 number and here we have 6 6 5 0 uh, so this this has been imputed with the next value so far we were filling missing values row wise what we had seen in previous uh, for pad and the next row is a row in b fill so what we were doing is we were filling this nan values row wise now we will do the same but column wise we just have to pass one more parameter axis is equal to one where one stands for column and by default axis is, is equal to zero where zero stands for row so far here we are not passing any other parameter which is axis because axis is equal to zero is by default which is for row now what i will do i'll make one uh, new data frame df4 and then I will call df dot fill na and I'll explain you after printing this method is going to be pad and this time axis is going to be one because we want to do this column wise df4 and now if I print this and if I print this one df the raw data frame here what it you will see here is here in this uh, country column we have this nan here in this row number one and now if you see here we have this number four 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 eight eight now what is happening here whatever the number we will have here in this previous column that number will be replaced by the nan value now here you will see we are still getting nan after doing this method is equal to pad because before this age column we don't have any other column that is why there are no values to replace this nan value and that is why we got nan so for this age column we will get nan everywhere because we don't have any other column before this age column which we can use to fill the value of this age variable and for salary let's say in this row number five we have this nan here but we should get 46 and let's check there row number five and we got 46 here so what it is doing here in in column wise when we pass the parameter axis is equal to one it will consider the value the previous value or the previous variables value and that value will be imputed by the nan value in the current variable and that is what it is happening here now similarly we can do for the b fill i'll copy this code from here and then i'll paste it here I'll make a new data frame which is going to be instead of D4 this is going to be D5 and here also I will write D5 and instead of pad this is going to be B fill. Now here in this output you will see what we are what we got here is we got NAN now this time it will use the next column so what it was doing here is in this pad it was considering the value from the previous column so to fill this value it was using this column now to fill this value it will use this column and to fill value for this nan variable it should have one more column here but since we don't have one more column here all the nan values in this column will remain nan because the next column we don't have now for example here for salary here we had where here we got the uh, uh, missing value as India because it is using this next column which is country 
and it is just copy and pasting the value from next column as the missing value to the previous column and for example let's say here in this age for this uh, row number two uh, for index number two you will see here for index number two we have this value 9759 because it is using the next variable which is salary from this variable it is using the value and it is filling that as the missing value and so for b fill it will use the next column and for pad it will use the previous column so here it is using this previous column for country it is using salary for salary it is using age and for age there are no previous column that is why we are getting nan here and here for age it is using salary for salary it is using the column country for country column there are no va variables that is why we are getting nan everywhere in the variable country now let's say we want to uh, we want to fill some uh, let's say constant value now in age i want to fill everywhere as 1000 and in country wherever there are nan values i want to add a new country let's say germany uh, i'll print first df here now what i am saying here is for this variable age i want to put 1000 everywhere where I, wherever i have this nan value and for the variable country wherever i have this nan value i want to define a new country which is germany how i can do that i will make one new variable df uh, so earlier i have made this df5 i'll make df df6 here and then i will call df dot fill na and then i'll create a dictionary and in dictionary for this variable age i have this variable let's see the variable is age and country for this variable age i am saying that wherever there are nan values i want to use the value 1000 and for the variable country wherever i have nan value i want to create a new category or a new country which is going to be germany and now if i print df6 here you will see in the output for age we got 1000 everywhere wherever we had nan value and for the country we got a new country here germany wherever we had nan values this is how this constant now uh, constant uh, imputation also works you just have to create a dictionary and then you have to define what constant you want to fill across all nan values now let's say i want to fill missing values as mean of that column for continuous variable let's take an example of the column age i want to replace so if i print here df i want to replace all these missing values with the mean value of age so first let us calculate the mean of age i will write here df dot age and then dot mean now what i'm saying that the mean age is 46 years i want to replace all these nan values that you see in this column age should be 46 points so we have this 46.61 and we can do that also i'll make one new data frame df7 and then i will call df dot fill na and in which column i want to fill the missing values i want to fill in the age so i will write here df of age because i want to fill in age and what method i want to use i want to use mean that is i want to fill the missing values with the mean values now let us execute our code and print this df7 now here in the output you will see wherever we had missing values it is being filled by 46.61 here you also will see 46.6153 with this mean value now if you look at here we have missing value at index number 2 and then index number 9 let's confirm that at index number 2 we have 46.61 at index number 9 also we have 46.61 for continuous variable you can replace the missing values with the mean or even you can uh, use other method like minimum so it will fill the minimum or the maximum or anything you want you can use here now 
what we can do is we can also drop the missing values and there are different method now let's say if i print here df so this is our original data frame and now let me make one more variable df9 and then i will use df dot drop na and then we have this parameter how and uh, it is going to be any and then let me print df9 i'll explain you what this uh, will do so here in the output we got only six output now what it says when we use this parameter any it says that even if there are one single nan value in any row for example here in this uh, index number 17 we have nan value in this age column only we don't have this nan value in salary or the country column but it says that if you find any nan value in any row just delete that entire row so here it found nan value in this column it will delete entire 17 uh, row then here it, it has found that the nan value is present in the variable salary it will delete this entire row number 16 here it will see that nan values are found in this both of these two variables age and uh, age and country it will delete this entire row so when we pass this parameter how is equal to any it will delete all those rows wherever it will find even one nan values and then there is one more parameter i'll create a new data frame df10 i'll write here df10 and this is also going to be df10 and here it is going to be all now it says that you will delete the uh, first let me print df now it says that you will delete the entire row only if there are three missing values in a row so it will not delete this second index number because it has only one missing value and let us check if there are any row which has three missing values so we don't see any such row and if i print df10 so here in the output you will see we got all the uh, results here it did not delete a single row because it says that you will delete the rows only if all the rows are having missing values and in our data frame there are no such rows where we have missing values for example here you will say we will have we have this nan value in this age variable only here we have for salary only here also we have for salary only and here we have for age and country but we don't have for salary so if we had this uh, nan value here nan 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 then this would have uh, deleted the row but since there are no such rows in which there are three nan values that is why it has not deleted that row now the last uh, the last thing which we can do is interpolate now i'll make one new variable df11 and then i will write df dot interpolate and then i will print df11 now here you will see oh we got we have filled all the missing values so what it is doing here there are various methods inside this interpolate and if i show you so by default the method is linear and if i go down here you will see method so there are by default it is linear and this linear method what it do, it does is it ignores the index and treat the values as equally spaced this is the only method supported on multi indexes so it says that all the values are e as equally uh, spaced they are you know close to each other then there are different methods like uh, we have time then we have pad and these are the different methods which we can use inside this parameter interpolate uh, interpolate so by default the method is linear and it says that the values are at equal distance so you can also use this interpolate method these are the methods which we can use to fill the missing values in our data frame if you like my video, you can subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.